Hello, Nico 2064 here, back with another review, and today I'm going to review LEGO Star Wars Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This is set um, 75271, has 236 pieces, and it retails for $30 in the United States. So, let's get into this. So here's the Luke Skywalker minifigure of the set, um, and he has an exclusive poncho piece, which has never been, um, well, I mean the piece probably has been made, but... You know, it's never been, um, his, you know, they've never made his poncho from episode 4 in a set before, so that's cool to get. Um, and his head and hair, still great, I love that hair piece. Um, under the poncho you can see he has his normal torso and legs, which are also in the Obi-Wan's hut set. Um, same back printing, of course. Um, his back face, you can see, it's just a smile. Um, he has this, uh, rifle here, uh, which, of course, is where he gets jump-scared by the Tusken Raider. Um, and he has some of these Star Wars binoculars, which I believe also come in the Obi-Wan Obi -Wan's hut set. Um, so yeah, I guess the main draw of this Luke Skywalker is the poncho piece, um, but, you know, it is exclusive, so that's pretty good. Here's C-3PO, and, uh, you know, this, for a lot of you, probably isn't so, um you know, so much of a big deal, but this is actually my first C-3PO ever, so, you know, I've never actually owned one, um, so it's kind of cool to see, like, the head and stuff, um, and the, just, the printing, it's all very well printed. I do hope we get some dual molded legs on him someday, because, you know, I always hate how it cuts off there, um, but, you know, that's not a big deal, um, you can see on the back, he's kind of got some detail on the head, uh, and the torso on the back looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, now I'm finally, uh, can have an R2-D2 with a C-3PO. Um, but yeah, that's about it for him, you know. I don't know, it's probably not a big deal, but, you know. I always thought this was kind of one of the LEGO Star Wars fix, um, that they nailed, you know. Um, like the, they did perfect with, so. Yeah, I don't think he really needs much of an upgrade, except for, like, arm printing maybe. But yeah, that's pretty much it for him. Here's a Jawa, another first for me, um, and I always wanted one, um, since the Mandalorians come out, you know, because, uh, they had a whole episode mainly focusing around, uh, Jawas. Uh, they use this classic Star Wars gun piece, you know, um, which they always used, I don't know, opposite with the stud on here, but I guess now it's supposed to actually be, I don't know, look like this, you know, um, and he has a brown hood piece, or you know, whatever it is, um, but, yeah, that's just the old hood piece in brown, not the new one, um, and the face is always great, um, I guess I could have taken that off longer to show you the printing on the torso, and on the back, and I guess, really quick, I could show what he would look like with the dark brown, um, Obi-Wan hood, this is what he would look like, or it would look like, um, with a new hood piece, so, I don't know, you could maybe comment below if you think that would work better. I don't know. I think this old hood piece works pretty well. And that's probably why they didn't use a new hood piece. Here's the Jawa Cave. And it's just a little side build. So there's not much to it. Um, but you can kind of see how that's built up. Lots of those kind of um, curved bricks. Or, you know, curved on the end. Uh, there's a little spot. So you could put that um, blaster there. Um, there are a couple spots you could put the Java, you could put it inside like this, um, or you could put it on the top, maybe on this jumper. I don't know what that jumper is actually for, but I assume it's for, um, you know, the Java. Maybe it's for, uh, Luke and his rifle when he does go up to, um, you know, scout out the area. Um, but there's one of these bush pieces, um, so, you know, that's always nice to get. Um, and I don't know. I kind of like this, um, I know it's not much, but I think this is, I don't know, good. It honestly looks like it could be like a poly bag set, like this, but I don't know. It's just a nice side build. Here's Luke's Land Speeder, the actual build. Um, and honestly, I know it gets a lot of hate for being like re remade every two years. Um, but honestly, I think, um, you know, they want to keep it on the shelves because this is one of the more iconic um, vehicles from, I guess, original trilogy, um, and I think every time they do it, they kind of upgrade it, you know, 
uh, like, for real. They actually just, I don't know, every year they make new pieces, so there are new pieces to put on here. Um, my favorite part has to be the front, uh, because they use some of these, um, I don't know, uh, big, uh, curved pieces with stickers. Um, I guess I could, uh, show it a little closer. Um, you can see how that kind of, uh, curves around. It kind of connects here. Um, and there's another sticker. Um, uh, but I love how that kind of looks just like the movie. Um, with that. Of course, I did a bad, do bad job on the stickers, but... Um, you can see over here, there's some more detail. Uh, just the way it built, you know, the way it's built. Uh, and that's my favorite kind of detail, where it's built in. Like, it's not, it doesn't have to be printed or stickered. Um, but on the hood, there's some, uh, more, I guess, uh, built detail. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but, um, and then you can see, um, on the inside, there's a steering wheel, uh, which I don't really get why it would have a steering wheel. Um, and there's, like, a little sticker, uh, with a panel. Um, I don't know if it annoys any of you, but I don't like how that's on this side. Um, because I live in America, and we have our steering wheels on the left. Um, but, I don't know, maybe it was like that in the movie, but I, I don't remember. Here's where they put the, uh, rifle, um, that I showed earlier. There's just a little clip there. Uh, you can see there's a sticker on here, just kind of maybe, like, a bit of metal ripped off, and you can see under. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, there's another sticker here. I think I might have had that upside down. I'm not sure. Um, and you can see uh, there's one on, yeah, oops. Blooper, sorry. Um, but there are some wires on this, uh, sticker. I think I like that a lot. Um, and I messed up here because I ripped this off, but, uh, there are some stickers up here. And I just really like the way these, um, like, turbines are built. Um, with a lot of Technic, and they're really strong. Uh, so they're not going to come apart. Uh, and they have these little BB-9 heads on them, so. Um, you could put that back and, uh, take this off. And inside you can put, uh... Luke's accessories, you know, the poncho and the binoculars, um, but I kind of ruined that earlier, um, so you just put that back on, and it hopefully won't fly off like it did for me, um, but you're supposed to have that on there so it's secure, uh, and there are a lot of nice, like, curved pieces here, kind of just leading to the back, um, and you can see they have some, like, I don't know, engine pieces, um, and I did want to really quick mention the chairs, I like the way they're just kind of built. I'm not sure what these clips are for in the back. Uh, no one probably cares, but, you know, you can see <laughs> there's some clips there. I don't really get that. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I should probably show it with um, figures inside, um, so you could kind of get an idea of what, you know, you're supposed to look like. Um, but, you know, you can always add in figures and put them on the top, like that, and on the other side too, maybe. Maybe R2-D2. Um, let me find mine. Uh, you could probably put him there. Like that. Um, so yeah, I think this works out pretty well. Um, and, you know, it, it is upgraded from the last one. So I think a reboot or remake um, was, I don't know, not necessary, but it was warranted. Here's the box of the set. Um, nice little uh, background. You can kind of see Tatooine. Um, I like how they kind of incorporated that cave, but, uh, you know, um, on the back you can kind of get a better look. I really like this angle, you know, and look of the, uh, lands, lands, <coughs> sorry, I threw up, <laughs> uh, the land speeder. Um, but you can see 3PO and, um, the Jawa at the top and that little play feature. Um, I just noticed there's no way to shoot this thing. Like, you know, there are no guns on it. Like, there's the rifle, but... Nothing actually on it that shoots. That's just a little observation, but, you know. It's a land speeder. I guess you don't need that fader at the top and stuff, so. Uh, now onto the instructions. Here are the instructions with that same art from the box. Um, and on the back, you can see the sets. Reviewed that one, reviewed that one. I think I reviewed the Zori Bliss one. Um, and, of course, I'm reviewing this one right now. The Skywalker Saga game, which releases this October. Um, so that's gonna be cool. On the back, you can see that robot. Um, that's always on the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
So yeah, I actually quite like this set. Um, it's not the greatest for the value of $30. Um, that You can get a lot better sets for that price. I think even Obi-Wan's Hut is that uh, price. But um, I still think this is actually, you know, pretty worth it. But um, of course there's a lot. And you only get three minifigures, which isn't that much. Um, I almost would have not included a Jawa. Included like two um, Sand People. Um, or Tusken Raiders, um, because that's a little more relevant to the scene. Um, or maybe even R2-D2 and, um, Ben Kenobi, you know, um, because that's a little, I don't know, a little more just, I don't know, maybe you could have included, um, something like that, just to make it a little more valuable, um, but I don't know, I think this is okay, but not great. Um, and maybe it just means more to me because I don't have any of these minifigures yet. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'm a little biased there, but... Yeah, I would give it a B, you know, you can pick it up if you want. Or maybe if you don't have a Luke's Land Speeder like me, uh, then you would want it more. Um, uh, but if you've gotten some already, uh, or one already at least, then, you know, I don't think this is necessary for just the poncho, if that's what you're getting it for. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nika 2064, signing off.